Family to me is really important. I know that I had a home to come home to. I was 14 when everything changed. After my dad got deported and my mom went back, I was basically homeless. I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. I just knew that I had to continue going. I knew that one day I was gonna be able to make it out of my situation. I knew that my life was meant for so much more than just trying to live day by day. My story is not as unique as you may think. It's similar to millions of people living in America. I feel like I'm actually going back in time. I see myself in those kids. something my dad got deported but came back and then like when I was like five or something he, he got deported again but if he's not here then I won't be able to have like a family no my mom won't be happy and everything else I would be like sad and everything without my family not having my family with because of my experience, I have a unique gift and desire to help the youth who might have English as a second language, who might be undocumented, go to college and graduate and get an education. Where you come from does not determine where you're going. I know because I've been through it. My parents made a tough choice bringing us to the States. There was slim opportunities in Mexico to make it. They wanted to give us every fighting opportunity. They wanted me to get an education. They brought us here, they didn't make it, but I decided to stay and do the best that I could. Everything was against me, telling me you're undocumented, you won't be able to make it, you don't have your parents, you're homeless, your house hopping, you're not gonna make it. It's a slow descent, the increase in isolation, the unwanted feeling. I was to the point in my life where I was like, I don't even wanna go on anymore. I would just see the cars pass by and I just thought to myself that, if I jump over, all this pain will be over with. I made every effort I could to get up in the morning, to walk to school, to make it to school, no matter what. I started having people caring for me, noticing me for who I was. This lady came up to me and she was like, hey, I just had these images in my mind. I want to share them with you. She sees me house hopping without my parents struggling. She didn't see me as a rugged inner city youth, but she saw me as a person. Events like that is what just changed my mind. I'm thankful for those people that just came surrounding me. My situation didn't change, but my perspective and my mindset is what made the change. I didn't have to be a victim of the way that I grew up. So that's why I just kept getting up every day. Now I'm on the path to finishing my bachelor's degree. And the more that I keep learning, the more that I feel empowered, it helps change communities, it helps change families. I'm just amazed at where I came from to where I'm at today. I couldn't get here by myself. And these kids, they have all the potential that's available within them. They just need someone to unlock it to help them see that beyond their circumstances. At the PATH Project, we have community centers where we go into mobile park trailer homes and we establish after-school programs where we can help the youth with tutoring. Sometimes I hear some of the students talk about like, I can't do this or I'm not good at this. And I kind of laugh inside because I know that they can. You only limit yourself by the limits that you place on yourself. They know that somebody is right beside them, walking beside them. Who is America? Is it one creed, is it one color, or is it a place where we all can stand and be free? My name is Juan Terrazas. Never underestimate the power you have to influence your life or someone else's.